Hey guys, this is Nirpalm with the Underwater Photography Guide and Blue Water Photo. Now, I'm excited to show you guys today an awesome tool for underwater videographers. This is the Kraken 7 inch ultra bright monitor. Uh, it has 2200 nits, and for those of you that, guys that don't know, 100 nits is about the brightness of a laptop, 1000 nits is about the brightness of an HDR TV, so this is over two times as bright as an HDR TV. Um, so it's an awesome, super bright monitor for daylight diving conditions so that you can see what you're doing when you're taking underwater video. Now it is just a monitor, it's not a monitor and a recorder like the Atomos Ninja 5, uh, but because of that, it comes at a really great price of $18.99 for the full package, it's self-contained. It can dive down to 266 feet, that's 80 meters. Um, and it's just an all around great tool uh, if you're really getting into video and need to see what you're doing um, underwater. So if you're new to underwater video, let me explain how this works. Uh, we mounted this monitor on an M10 ball mount on an Autocam housing. You can mount this on an arm, or if you have an accessory ball mount, you can mount it there. Uh, we also have some cool contraptions for external monitors if you want to mount it so that uh, it's you know directly behind your camera instead of above it. Uh, that makes it a little bit easier to see what you're doing uh, and make sure that your subject is in line. Now, the monitor can take a 4K feed from your camera uh, and it goes through an HDMI or an SDI cable straight into the monitor. Now, this works with housings that have M16 and M24 ports. If you have an M28 port, there is an adapter that Nauticam actually makes that can adapt that from M28 to M24 and then you're good to go there. So the way it works is we have this little bulkhead right here. Uh, there's an M16 and an M24 version. It's got an HDMI port that'll plug into your camera. It doesn't matter what kind of HDMI port your camera has, this will be adapted to any of them and the adapters come with the kit. Uh, so this will basically screw into your M24, M16 down here. And then this cable right here will actually plug in to this bulkhead and then you've got a full contained system that can go down to 200 feet. Now, the battery on the monitor is actually one of my favorites that I've had the pleasure of using. It's the same rechargeable lithium ion battery that is available for the Kraken 6000 and the Kraken 4000 video lights. Um, it's tried and true, it's a good battery, and the best part about it is it actually has a USB-C charging port directly on the battery so you can take the battery right out and charge it as you need to. If you need any spare batteries for the monitor, which you won't because the battery life is actually three hours, uh, but if you do need any spare batteries, it's pretty easy to buy those spare batteries, have them charged up, ready to go during your day of diving, and then you can swap them out as you need to. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the features on the monitor. I have with me here a Canon EOS R6 Mark II camera. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to actually take this one diving tomorrow. It's a new camera. Nauticam has a new housing for it that just came out. Miralux and Eichelite also have housings. Um, but I can't put it in this housing because this is a housing for a Canon R5. So this is just for demonstration purposes. That's why I don't have it all set up and ready to go. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this monitor can do, how it can help you visualize your subjects underwater when you're shooting. Uh, and I'm gonna kind of zoom in. The lighting's gonna be all funky, but I wanna show you guys what's actually on the monitor and not just me talking. All right, so let's take a look at the monitor here. Um, so I've got my Canon R5 in movie mode. Um, I can even have it start filming for you guys so you can actually see what's going on through the camera. Uh, so right now the Canon camera is recording and it's actually transferring a live feed of the monitor in 4K. Um, now the monitor has got a ton of features that are really useful for videographers. The first thing that you can see here is that you actually have uh, the screen. It looks like a nice clear image uh, with good detail, but I'm actually shooting in C-Log right now. I'm using a logarithmic profile that can be processed uh, later when I'm post-processing. So what the monitor is doing is it's applying what's called a LUT. Uh, so the monitor does have built-in LUTs, and the way you get to that is you click your menu. And um, the built-in LUTs are available for, oh, let's go back real quick. The built-in LUTs are available for um, the Canon, Sony, you can see the LUT table here. We have S-Log2, S-Log3, V-Log, and uh, Canon Log, or Log-C. Uh, V-Log is Panasonic's profile, and S-Log2 and S-Log3 are really popular with Sony cameras. So there are these built-in LUTs in the monitor that can be applied. 
So when I turn this LED off, you can see that the, the texture in the video is a little bit uh, less contrast. That's because that's what the video actually looks like in the camera. Um, but when I have the LED on, it looks like how it would after post-processing. So that's a really cool feature on this monitor is you can actually see when you're shooting a logarithmic profile what that looks like when it's gonna be processed. And that really helps you, you know, get the right details, make sure your exposure's right and everything like that. Uh, if I go into the menu, there are some other features that I'd like to talk about. First, you can see the histogram right here. So uh, the histogram will tell you how well your video is exposed. Um, the monitor also has a focus assist. So when I turn that on, you can actually see what parts of my video are in focus. Uh, I chose my peaking color as green, but you can choose it as red or other colors as well, uh, as you can see right here. So there's blue, there's red, green. Uh, you can show your embedded audio um, from the video that you're shooting, which is pretty cool. Uh, you, can you can show your zebra levels and where you're overexposed. And finally, this monitor can also show you false colors, which helps get your exposures right and make sure that you've got all the detail that you need. So if I go back to the main menu, let's take a look at some of the other menu features that are here. And I apologize for the way I'm moving through the menu. I don't quite have everything in muscle memory yet. All right, so flipping down. Um, there's different ways to view your video on this monitor. You can set different grids. I went all out and I turned my center marker on. Um, I put safe frames in there. I put a nine grid. I'm at a ratio of 16 by nine. Um, so I'm doing a lot here and I'm just trying to show you, you know, everything that you can do in the monitor itself. Now, one question I often get uh, when it comes to the Kraken monitor is can I flip the image over? Because if you're gonna mount this so that it's directly behind your housing, you might wanna mount it upside down and it does come with a ball mount so that you can do that. Um, so in order to flip the image, you can actually go ahead and go into the menu and flip the image. Now my image is upside down and now it's right side up. So uh, if you do need to mount it in a different direction, you can always go ahead and flip your image. So those are just a few of the features that the Kraken Ultrabright monitor can do. Uh, one final thing that this monitor can, can do is daisy chain. So if you do need to uh, put another HDMI cable out and chain it up to another monitor, you can do that. Um, so there is an input and an output uh, bulkhead right on the monitor itself. So if you're an underwater videographer, you should seriously consider having a monitor, even if you have bad eyesight and maybe you don't want an external viewfinder, this monitor is almost the same price. Uh, so it's a, kind of a really cool tool because you can really see what you're doing underwater. Um, you can use those visualization tools to apply LUTs uh, and false colors and anything that you need to get your exposure right. So if you do have a complicated post-processing workflow, this is really what you need to get that going. Anyway, with that, if you have any questions, make sure you drop them in the comments below. Feel free to reach out to us at sales at bluewaterphotostore.com and we can get you set up with this monitor, get you all the pieces you need. It's pretty self-contained, so as long as you have a mounting point and a bulkhead, you should be good to go. And that's it. I think this will be an awesome tool for underwater videographers.